Welcome everyone. In today's video, we shall begin with a new chapter in standard 6 mathematics that is symmetry. So let's begin. First, let's understand what is symmetry. In mathematics, a meaning of symmetry defines that one shape is exactly like the, uh, like the other shape when it is moved, rotated or flipped. If you take an example of this tree, the tree on the left hand side is symmetrical. Why? Because when we draw a straight vertical line from the center, we can see the exact shapes on both the sides, even if this tree is rotated, moved or flipped. Whereas the tree on the right hand side is asymmetrical or non-symmetrical because both the sides of, this, of the tree is not the same. So this is symmetry. Then we have few examples of symmetry in our day-to-day -day life. The example one which we see on the screen, this image, this beautiful photo. This is also an example of symmetry. We use this for coloring or even drawing rangolis. The second drawing of this beautiful butterfly is also an example of symmetry. If you draw a straight vertical line passing from the center, we can see that both the sides of this butterfly is one and the same. And the third is this mandala. This mandala drawing is also an example of symmetry. Here, many symmetrical or vertical horizontal axis of lines can pass for this beautiful drawing of mandala. Have you all seen a kaleidoscope? A kaleidoscope is a toy that uses light and mirror to make pretty patterns with symmetrical designs. See, this is a kaleidoscope. And when we see through it and rotate it, we can see beautiful patterns made out of it. And one important thing for this is every time we rotate it, we see a new pattern. The pattern does not get repeated. So this is one benefit of the kaleidoscope. And it is used for making wallpapers and many other designs in our day-to-day -day life. Now let's understand what is reflectional symmetry. If a symmetrical figure gets divided by an axis in the figure into two parts which falls exactly on each other, its symmetry is called as reflectional symmetry, which means we see exactly same things on both the sides. So these are two examples which I have shown you all for reflectional symmetry. Now we have few alphabets also in our English language, capital letters, which are uh, an example of reflectional symmetry. See here for the first figure, if you draw one vertical straight axis, we see that again the, both the sides of this heart is one and the same. The second part is reflection of the first part. Whereas for the second drawing or the picture which we see pentagon, for that also when we draw a straight line, we can see the first image is reflected into the second part. So this is nothing but reflectional symmetry. I hope students you all have understood reflectional symmetry. Now let's begin with our practice set 20. Question number 1. Draw the axis of symmetry of each of the figures below. Which of them has more than one axis of symmetry. Axis of symmetry means the lines which we are drawing to divide them into equal parts. So these are the four figures and the answer for this is here on the screen. For the first figure, there are two axes of symmetry. That is one horizontal and one vertical line passing from the center. So this line divides the figure into equal same parts. For the second figure, triangle we have three axes of symmetry for the fourth figure we have only one vertical line passing from the center dividing the figure into two equal parts whereas for the fourth figure if you see we have four axes of symmetry so this is the first answer 
you are supposed to copy down the answers in your book now let's come to question number 2 write the capital letters of the english alphabet in your notebook try to draw their axis of symmetry which one have an axis of symmetry which one have more than one axis of symmetry now let's find this out here we have written all the capital letters of english alphabet and we will try to draw the axis the line which divides that alphabet into two or more equal parts it is not necessary that the line should be vertical only or the line should be horizontal only for alphabet a we have seen that we have drawn a vertical straight line passing from the center so we see equal or same image on both the sides of the line same goes for alphabet b c d and e we have drawn a horizontal line passing from the center which divides the alphabet into equal images or equal parts for alphabet h we can see that this alphabet h has two axes of symmetry one horizontal and one vertical same goes for i i here is shown only one vertical line but a horizontal line can be also drawn for it and we have k m and o for o again we have two axes of symmetry one horizontal and one vertical then the next alphabet is t u v w x and y again for x we have two axes of symmetry after drawing the axis of symmetry we are supposed to write down which are the alphabets having axis of symmetry that is why i have mentioned at the bottom letters which have an axis of symmetry a b c d e h i k m o t u v w x y and letters which more than one axis of symmetry are h i o and x so this is our second answer then we have our third and the fourth question which you all are supposed to do as homework question number 3 use color a thread and a folded paper to draw symmetrical shapes i hope many of you all have drawn or uh, done this experiment at home question number 4 observe various commonly seen objects such as trees leaves birds in flight pictures of historical buildings etc find symmetrical shapes among them and make a collection of them so this is the fourth question these two questions are for homework you all are supposed to do it by yourself okay then comes drawing symmetrical figures on drawing paper these are the two examples which we can see in our textbook this is a graph paper on one side of the graph paper the image was already made then we have drawn a line and then looking at the first image we are supposed to draw that image the reflection of that image exact way as it is on the right hand side so for the first one we have triangle pqr so this triangle pqr we have drawn it exactly from the same point on the right hand side and same thing goes for the second picture which we see on the screen that design has been drawn in the exact same position the reflection is going on the right hand side so this is drawing symmetrical figures on drawing papers see we see this uh, graph paper there are many small small lines vertical and horizontal small lines drawn on the paper with the help of those lines we are supposed to place the correct uh, image on the other half then we have practice set 21 based on it question number 1 along each figure shown below a line l has been drawn complete the symmetrical figures by drawing a figure on the right side such that line l becomes the line of symmetry and we have three figures here what we have to do is 
again we have a graph paper we have the image and we have a drawn line now on the other side of the line we have to draw the exact same image which we can see on the screen so let's begin see this is our question and then this is the answer if you see for the first image if you see for the first image we have taken we have started from 1 cm one box vertical line is drawn so below the uh, axis of symmetry also we have drawn one box vertical line then goes two boxes horizontal line same thing we are supposed to draw the exact uh, reflection of the first image on the other side of the axis of symmetry so this is how we have drawn it for the first image for the second image also for line l we can see something like a tree so we have three triangles on left hand side and we are supposed to place the same three triangles on the right hand side also but it should look as a reflection of the first one so i have shown that also on the screen you all are also supposed to see or count how many boxes we have taken for the first triangle and how i have drawn it on the right hand side for the third image we can see a triangle again which is below the symmetrical line okay and the same thing we are supposed to draw above the symmetrical line whatever is drawn below we are supposed to draw above the symmetrical line count the boxes count how many centimeters each side is and accordingly draw a perfect image so when we do it properly using our scale counting the lines counting the boxes then we will get exact same image on the other side of our symmetrical or axis of symmetry that's it for this video students by this we finish our lesson symmetry please don't ignore this lesson lesson is very very important and there are many uses of symmetry in our day to day life which you all are going to be facing so kindly go through this chapter very very thoroughly thank you